Belizeans gathered at the BTL Park in Belize City on Holy Saturday morning to see the start of the 90th running of the annual Cross Country Cycling Classic. 113 cyclists signed in to take part in what is one of Belize's premier sporting events. The race started with a rollout from the BTL Park as cyclists made their way to the George Price Highway for the official start of the race. And then it was on the way to San Ignacio. On the return, 2015 champion Justin Williams broke away from the crowd and he would not be caught. Williams rode into the BTL Park a full five minutes and two seconds ahead of his nearest competitor. Today I came out, I don't really have a choice, man. I don't have a team, so I kind of have to take a lot of risk in letting everybody race early. Um, and this year it felt pretty good. Like it seemed like all the Belizean guys were like riding, <laughs> riding selflessly, you know, selflessly. They, they looked like they were, uh, everybody was on the same page. Um, and that's always really nice to see when I come out here and everybody's racing for, for the pride of the country. My tactics was basically to try to do as least as possible going into Kyle. And then when we turned around, see who was still strong and who was riding once they got up the road. Um, and that's what I did, you know, I just like looked at the guys that were willing to pace, looked at the guys that were just attacking up the road and then sitting up. And then I found that group that went up the road um, and I got them to work together, which is like always a big deal. Then coming out of Belmont Pond, we caught the, we were catching the break and we had three Digicel and then uh, two Smart. Um, and I tried to get them to work together because usually you have three guys in a breakaway, you, you take on the brunt of the work. Um, but. I don't know if it was the legs or anything, but they, they, they wanted to do something else, um, which is fine, it's, it's racing. Um, but I just saw an opportunity. I was willing to drive the brake toward the end of the tour uh, when we started getting into like the 40s and 30s. Yeah. Um, and it just seemed like everybody had, had a different agenda. So, I didn't, <laughs> excuse me. I didn't think I'd go solo. <laughs> I thought somebody would come with me, like one of the Americans or the Mexicans. Um, and they did it, and, and I'm grateful that the, the guys, my dad said the Belizean guys in the back kind of just marked everybody out the race, which is, which I'm super grateful for. Like, I come out here every year, and I have mad respect for those dudes that, uh, that are out here doing it. I know it's, it's not easy riding the same roads every day. Um, so to come out here and to see how much shape those guys have is, is really impressive. Williams finished the race in a time of 5 hours, 45 minutes, and 58 seconds. For the second year in a row, U.S. national Patrick Reigns plays second. I'm really ecstatic to be second place. Last year I got second to the, uh, to the Guatemalans and they deserved it. And this year there was, uh, there was no stopping Justin. Justin rode a phenomenal race. He really, when he went, he, he attacked us a couple times out there. There was no catching him. So he was a dirt deserving winner. Uh, the only open place that was left was second and I'll be, I'll be happy with that. There was no catching Justin today. He was a deserving winner and I'm glad to see him wearing the garland. Giovanni Lovell of Digicel 4G finished in fifth place. I feel really disappointed about the race. Um, what happened, I ride too offensive. I should have ride um, defensive. Um, what, what happened by mile 31, we allowed Justin, Justin to um, break away from us. Thought that we want to catch him back down the road. Um, I should have followed him, but um, I made my mistake to let him win. No? For Byron Pope of Benny's Megabytes, the cross country was just his third competitive race in two years. He finished in seventh position. Nobody never really made me call my name, nobody wanted me to watch me, but I know I got a big heart and I used nothing there for, against me for motivation. I wasn't, I wasn't that even in the top ten for the, the, the so-called GC guys, what, they're, what, what they were saying, but I showed them today that I can do a big ride. This is my third race back after two years. Oscar Curas of Smart Seaway Western Spirit finished in 8th position. Curas said this year's race was very difficult. The, the breeze was a, was a major factor. The heat wasn't as, as bad like I, I expected, but um, I think the breeze was a huge factor in this, um, in this race now. And I think um, coming down to the line now when the 11 man was, uh, when, when we had made the separation, I think it was on the kettle up the hill. Uh, Carlos Lopez was the one that initiated it um, to catch the front group that was already running, right? And from there we had Justin Williams and a couple of strong guys moving and I mean that kind of put me in the hurt because I didn't really expect it and um, I mean we had a game plan and we kind of like, I think there strategically we kind of, we, we, were, we were a bit uh, badly after, we didn't really notice it, no? And I think we had, I had to chase back and I think that's why that separation happened and only me end up, um, ended up making the break. This year's finish by Justin Williams is 5 minutes and 10 seconds after the record held by U.S. national Ryan Barman. Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.